Are you looking for a laser engraver or craft cutting machine all in one? This may be it. Stay tuned. Mark here at the Ten Acre Woods. This video is sponsored by Xtool, the maker of laser engravers, and now this hybrid cutting machine. Uh, we received a laser tool, the D1 by Xtool, in the spring, and we've been working with that. Uh, and they have a new hybrid machine that they've been working on. Uh, so we're going to unbox this, we're going to set it up, uh, and we're going to play around with it and see what it can do. So, first of all, opening this up, it is all in one, so it is kind of like a, uh, a large printer, I guess you could say. Uh, and this here is the final version. There's some other videos out there uh, where they had the beta version. They had, they've had some testing going on for, I believe, the last year anyway. Um, now this comes with the new rotary tool. Uh, this is the Pro Pack, and it's the 10 watt version. So getting into it, uh, we'll open this up. We've got a uh, rotary accessory kit here. And this box says uh, it's the risers. So uh, you'll need the risers to actually lift up the machine if you're doing any kind of rotary or you're using any materials that may be larger uh, than, the, uh, than the height. Uh, all right, getting into this, opening up the styrofoam. It's nicely well packaged here. Uh, we've got another box on this side, and this is the premium material package. Uh, so they send you some samples here of some materials uh, so you can play around with and kind of get the hang of it. Uh, so we'll go through these in a moment. Uh, and then we have another box in here. What have we got here? This is the actual rotary accessory itself. Uh, so we'll get into that. This is the new rotary. It's kind of a chuck type uh, system. Uh, I found that their original one, which just had rollers, uh, was a little touchy on certain types of materials. I tried to do a Yeti uh, mug, uh, and because it is somewhat slippery, stainless steel, uh, I found that the rollers didn't grab a hold of it. Uh, so with this one, it actually has a chuck that holds on to it. Uh, so you get a better turn. So I'm excited to try that one out as well. It also has uh, batch technology, uh, which you can put in multiple items, uh, and it has a 16 megapixel camera uh, that's located inside it. So it'll take a snapshot of your work, uh, and then you can go ahead and edit that right on your PC. So without further ado, let's pull this out. And is there anything in? No. My assistant off, off to the side here is going to... <laughs> cat box. It's going to put a cat box, yeah. We have six cats here. Uh, you may see one wander around. I can see a few uh, kind of going off in the distance here. All right, so this is the unit. Uh, here we go. We have some more items inside here. So we'll open this up, see what we got. We have our user's manual. Of course, we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, we have, uh, with the D1, they also gave a little sample package as well. There's a little dog tag in here. Uh, we have now two of these dog tags, but unfortunately we have three dogs, so we may have to get some more. Uh, there is a, a piece of basswood in here, as well as it looks like some vinyl. Uh, this will also do decals, uh, so you can cut it out and you can do some deckling uh, either on, uh, on, a, on a mug or you I guess put it on your car if you want, if you have a small business. Uh, set that off. Uh, this does have an exhaust ventilation fan, and they give you uh, one of these slinky type uh, exhausts that will uh, mount onto the back here. Uh, they also have the mounting bracket that will also attach to the back. So we'll get into that. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your power, power tools or your power adapter. <laughs> And uh, I was reading this here tool, uh, X tool. This is the blades. So these are five replacement blades uh, that we'll put into the cutter. So we got that, we'll set that aside. Uh, this is the clamp to hook on. Uh, what have we got here? Yeah, this is the clamp to hook on to your exhaust port when you set that up. 
uh, and then uh, there is your USB. Uh, now apparently this will work both locally with USB uh, as well as hooking up to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, so if you have a good Wi-Fi signal in the area you're going to use this. Uh, you should be able to really work on this, uh, any computer in the house, and then send the project to the unit. And then what you'll do is you'll go and you'll press this button here once you're ready to go. Uh, because of course, for safety reasons, you want to make sure that you are uh, in the area and watching it while it's working, uh, especially with the laser. Uh, so we'll pull this out. And what else do we have here? We have, oh, this looks like the screws for our mounting adapter uh, for our exhaust vent. Uh, and then down in here we have, uh, these are the triangular prisms. Uh, so what these are is because there is no honeycomb grill on the bottom of the unit, uh, they have these triangular type rods uh, that you'll set down and then you'll place your material on top of that when you're doing any kind of cutting through. Uh, so as not to cut uh, into the uh, the base plate inside the machine. All right, so they give you two pads, and what these are uh, is you have a uh, fabric grip and a light grip. So what I believe these are for is if you're doing the cutting, uh, you want to make sure that your pad, your workspace, and your materials uh, are firmly attached because of course uh, with the laser it doesn't touch the material but with the cutter, the cutting tool itself, it does. Uh, so these basically have uh, two sides of them that have a, a plastic. Uh, you'll pull the plastic off the back and then you will mount this with your grid pattern uh, down onto the bottom uh, and then peel off the top and then your material fabric or uh, leather or vinyl uh, can then attach to that. Uh, keep your work uh, materials in place. Uh, so we have another uh, little piece of styrofoam here holding the uh, unit in place. Uh, so as you can see here, that's the laser. <laughs> uh, and underneath here, it does have uh, a string of lights. So there's LED lighting to light up your project. And then there's a 16 megapixel camera, as I mentioned, uh, up in here that shoots down in your workspace. There's also a laser over, I believe it's over in this area here, that shoots down at your project uh, and onto your work material. Uh, so it can auto detect the height. Now the D1 actually has a little kickstand that you'll drop down and manually set the focal length. Uh, this one actually does it automatically, uh, so that's nice and handy. The only other thing we have on the back here is we've got a couple ports. Uh, looks like we have an accessory port here. Uh, we have our power port, our power switch, and our USB. So starting off with the rotary accessory. Uh, so we open this up here, and of course we've got our nice manual and uh, how to operate it. Uh, it is a three-piece unit, uh, and uh, with this, as I mentioned, there is a chuck that will grab a hold of your project, and there's a few little risers here, one of them being you can take uh, and do a, a glass, some glassware, some wine glasses, uh, and you can attach it into the chuck, and then there's a little riser you adjust uh, for the stem, so you can make sure everything is level uh, and everything will turn properly. Uh, then we get into the unit itself, uh, and uh, here it is here. So we've got what looks very similar to the original rotary tool, which is this here. Uh, it is adjustable, so you have an A, B, and C, uh, so you can adjust your one. Uh, depending on your work project, you can move it right up if you're maybe engraving pencils or pens. Uh, you can pull it back to the other two settings uh, for the larger items like glasses. So that is that. There is the cord, and yes, that is the accessory uh, part on the back of the machine that this plugs into. So that'll go into there. So opening this up, we have, yes, we have, it looks like some riser feet. 
of some sort. No, some clamps, some, uh, yeah, some little risers it looks like. So we'll get into that, figure out exactly what this does. Comes with all the tools you need. Has a little chuck here, and then it has different size risers. Uh, and that probably attaches to this tool here, as well as your chuck. So this is the actual chuck. I see how it goes. These two screws on the unit itself, uh, the chuck will then attach to that. Uh, and it looks like they give you a little, uh, a little tape measure that you can, uh, yeah, riser gear roller, riser gear chuck, and rotary attachment gear roller. So that's the items that are in here. And then you've got a little tape measure, vinyl tape measure to uh, measure uh, how far around the circumference uh, you want. Maybe your logo, uh, you want to make sure that it's it's visible and you can get your, get your sizing right. Uh, then we get into the X-Tool riser for piece. Now this is used if you're doing any kind of projects with the rotary tool. Uh, there is a plate in the base of the unit that comes out with three screws. Once that comes out, your roller attachment, your rotary attachment will sit directly on your workbench. Uh, and then the risers will actually rise the machine up uh, to the proper height uh, that your uh, laser engraving uh, onto glass or, or larger wood or whatever larger projects. Uh, so these are them here. I believe there's three different, yeah, there's three different size. There's four of these units. And there's three different risers so they're wood blocks uh, and if you place the machine on it this way uh, you are getting a looks like uh, if you're using this unit they've got the ra2 rotary which is the initial and then the pro which is this one uh, so you're getting a height of 142 to 314 is your work uh, workspace uh, if you place it this way you are getting 0 to 88 millimeters and if you place your riser this way you're getting uh, 0 to 142 milli millimeters. Uh, so then you can place your machine on these riser blocks and get your height. And that is what's in there. And the last thing we have is the uh, premium material box. Uh, this one is closed, so good thing I'm in the kitchen because I can get right into the drawer here, open that up. And what do we have in here? So this is your premium uh, package of materials. Uh, again, you've got, uh, what do we have here? Okay, so this just shows you, um, it gives, it's a little cheat sheet, it looks like. Uh, so it gives you different types of materials and uh, how you should set the machine. Now the machine and the software does have pre-programmed uh, materials, uh, but this is a guideline as well as to show you uh, for uh, vinyl processing, your blade cut is 90 grams of pressure and the speed is 80 millimeters a second with one pass. Uh, so uh, that is your little cheat sheet. Uh, you do have a little bag here. So if you were doing some, I believe it comes with some iron on material as well. Uh, so you can practice with that. Uh, make yourself a little uh, bag before you get into mass producing materials. Uh, then we've got what looks like some, maybe some keychain, little wood. Um, they've got a, a hole punched in it maybe to make keychains. We've got two packages of these for you to play with. Uh, and getting into the batch processing, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you take these and place them all down. Uh, you set up your, uh, your one, you, you get your design, your logo, whatever you want to put on that. You set that up and then you'll hit a, a batch processing button and it will then detect everything on your workspace and automatically populate all of your pieces with your artwork. Uh, then you can do a fine adjustment and move things around if necessary uh, and then you're ready to go. So you don't have to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, drag it around, resize it. Uh, the machine will actually do it automatically. Uh, then we get into, looks like a bunch of stuff here. We've got some basswood, we've got some plywood. Uh, we've got some, uh, a bunch of paper products, some, some stock, paper stock. Uh, it looks like even maybe some plexiglass, some acrylic in there. 
uh, sheeting. Uh, then we get into, uh, okay, so a coaster. So this, uh, the, um, the diode laser engraver will engrave onto stone. So keeping that in mind, and these are uh, some just pre-made coasters on a stone material. Uh, so we can laser engrave something on there, maybe a company logo. Uh, and then once you kind of get things down, you can then um, you know go online and order more materials. Uh, then we have, if you want to make some uh, fancy business cards, we've got some, uh, some metal cards here that you can engrave. You can play around with that. Uh, we have what looks like maybe a, a phone holder or a card holder. For your cards uh, so you can laser engrave maybe your logo on there as well uh, and then we have some live cut wood pieces here to do some projects uh, and then a bunch more metal material there's a whole pack of what looks like uh, oh that's a card holder so you can uh, engrave on the front of that and put your cards in there pop it in your pocket ready for business uh, some keychains and some um, maybe some necklaces, uh, a bunch of different things. There's another dog tag. Okay, so I have enough to do all three dogs. <laughs> so there's a circle, there's a bone, there's a heart, and there's a little fish. Although I don't think uh, fish would be able to swim very good if you put that around their neck. Uh, then we move into some other materials here as well. Uh, this looks like some kind of vinyl, uh, maybe this is your iron-on material, uh, and then you've got a whole bunch of other materials, so fabrics and cardstock, uh, and then you get into vinyls, lots of vinyls. They really give you a lot of material in here. Uh, so, you know, this will keep us busy for some time. Uh, so that is the unboxing of it. Uh, we're going to take this all down to our laser room I have downstairs. Uh, and then uh, start setting it up. So that is the first look and unboxing of the X-Tool M1 laser cutter and uh, laser engraver. Uh, so if you are interested in this machine, if you're looking at buying one or you just want to see what they have, I encourage you to click that link down in the description. Uh, that goes back and any sales come back to the farm. So we do get a small commission on the sales uh, and of course it goes to help out our animals. Uh, if you're new to this channel and haven't seen our animal videos, uh, we run a nonprofit animal rescue and we've got seven years of videos on that so you can always check that out as well. Currently there is no discount code because they do have great sales on this new release machine uh, but if there are any discount codes I will be sure to also put that down in the description uh, right by that link. So take care, uh, have a wonderful week, and uh, happy engraving. Take care. Bye-bye.